Hey guys, it's time to take the capper out and try out some new settings. It's got a Holmes Hobbies 13 turn 5 slot Crawlmaster Sport Motor, the 540 size because you can't fit a 550 in here. It's got the Proline Hyrax tires with the stock foams on some cheap China wheels. I've also lowered it and I used the green springs out of the older Axial trucks. You know how they had the top soft spring and then the little divider and then the actual bottom spring? Well, these are just the bottom springs, green. So they're kind of stiff. So it's really low, but it's also kind of stiff down there. So we'll see how that works out. It still has all the dropout. I'm going to show you guys a little bit more detail on that. Servos. Got a Reeks 444 front servo. Love that servo in this truck. It seems to be perfect. I don't see me changing it out. We've got the Reeks 99 servo for the dig. Also absolutely awesome. So guys, I'm going to show you real quick what's in the truck. Then we're going to take it out to the rocks. Take a look. Okay, so here are those green springs. They're really short springs. So, I mean, they don't look short like that, but, you know, like that, they really do. Um, we can also take a look at that Reefs 444 servo right there. Really like that. I've got his horn on there as well. The Reefs 99 rear dig servo is kind of hard to see because of all the panels, but it's in there. So, not really sure if I'm going to like this or not. Seems to work okay for the super light. Guess we'll see how this works for this. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing out in the rocks and see how it does now that it's lowered down. I do want to mention one thing. It's like the belly is lower than the axles. You know, we'll see. Let's give this thing a quick run with that 2S battery. That 13 turn home is actually pretty nice. Plenty of speed for most crawlers. <laughs> nice. 3S, let's go. Okay, that's moving pretty good. <laughs> nice. Okay, time to go crawling on 3S. Let's go ahead and give this climb a try. See how this thing will actually climb a little bit here. Not bad. Stand planted. Turn that front end over a little bit. Nice, nice. See if I can get that front end to come up and over. Oh, come on. I know you can do it. Come on. Well, man. I guess not. Now, I do have some other trucks that can do that climb, and you guys have seen it. Wow, this is really having a fit here. There we go. Now let's lock that rear end in for some uphill dig action. There we go, that was nice. Much easier to get the dig with that button down there like that. Dig it up again. Try some dig right here. Huh. That works out way better than I thought. Neat. Let's try this one again. Maybe with it sitting lower, it'll actually work a little better. And I can actually, uh, you know, hit that dig button a little bit front end is fully unloaded as you can see that spring is all the way out right there oh. dig is not helping me out much there 
Looks like I got it on that line though. Yeah. See if I can crawl it up through this little spot right here. Now, you know, these tires with the foams that are, you know, stock um, Proline foams, they still look to be a little bit. Oh, I think I need a dig here. Let's see. Not bad. See if I can ease it down here. Lock that rear end a little bit there. That Reese 444 is really a great match for this truck. I mean, really, it is. Well, wow, that stuff still pulls out pretty darn much there. Now, I'm not a big articulation guy, so see if I can lock that back in there and get that front end over. I think it helped me a little bit, even though I kind of missed on the switch a little bit. Comes right on up. Now this climb right here is really good for super soft foams. I don't think the Capra can get up this. Nice little bounce. Nice little dig a little bit. No. <laughs> so, kind of seems like I can bounce up the ledges a little bit. Well, I was wrong. The Capra did get up that. Ooh. You know, I think I'm going to have to try this thing with the uh, Deep Woods tires off of the uh, Super Light. Because even these foams right here aren't really compressing. I mean, they just really aren't. Uh, hold on a second. I think we can do a little dig. You know, I gotta tell you guys, I am actually really impressed with how well the dig works on this truck. Or buggy, per se. Ooh. Gotta get that back in over. There we go, right there. That almost got bad. <laughs> it's kind of a neat shot. All right, let's see what we got going here. Nice. Nice. Oh, got a bug around here. Oh, oh. <laughs> With this thing sit down like this, the belly literally, I think, may hang below the axles. I think the belly is actually lower than the axles are. Okay, that ain't gonna work. So I may not leave it like this. I mean, it's kind of weird to have a belly that's lower than the axles. I mean, how often does that happen?
seem to be having a bit of an issue with that. Nice save too. Did y'all see that? Oh yeah. Exoplex. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? A little parking brake action. So guys, what do you think? I'm not so sure I like that belly being actually lower than what the actual axles are. You know, it seems like you're just kind of dragging an anchor right in the middle of it. So I'm probably going to have to raise it back up at least a little bit. You know, just maybe a quarter of an inch or so. But um, I kind of like it lower. You know, you get a better center of gravity. I don't really like how the shocks just kind of unloaded so easy. You know, um, like I said, I'm not really a big, uh, a big, uh, you know, articulation guy. And this thing has a ton of articulation. But anyway, I think it done good. I think I've got some more shock tuning to do and tire foams. I'm going to take the tires off of Superlight, put them on this. Now those have really, really soft foams. This is about six pounds. That's three pounds, 10 ounces. So we'll see how bad this does with really soft foams in the next video. Guys, thank you all for watching.